For an average consumer, semi-trucks are just those big pesky machines that deliver their goods way too slowly and occasionally block streets and highways. Unfortunately, very few people can realize the scope of hard work, weeks away from home and dangers that lie ahead of every long journey. In this video, we'll pay tribute to the truck drivers all over the globe by featuring the newest semi-trucks in the business. We hope that these giants will not only reliably perform their long-hauling duties, but also will serve as comfortable homes away from home for the thousands of highway delivery heroes. Subscribe to Automotive Territory channel and let's explore the most technological semis of tomorrow. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes-Benz Actress L The new Actress L is what it is a luxury Mercedes-Benz in the world of semi-trucks. It redefines the quality of premium interiors, gets new headlights, expands the set of active safety features, and introduces the third generation of the OM471 engine. This unit is a 12.8-liter six-cylinder with new turbochargers and increased efficiency of oil pressure regulation. As a result, the overall fuel economy is improved by 4%, and CO2 emissions are down. The revised transmission increases torque buildup at low rev speeds. Power shift advanced simplifies starting and makes the upper gears shifting up to 40% faster. Moreover, those actress trucks equipped with the 449 and 476 horsepower engines possess the top torque function that can release extra 148 pound-feet of twist. The actress L cab offers a multimedia cockpit with a 10.25-inch screen. There are lots of storage spaces and a 7-zone premium comfort mattress. Western Star 57X Western Star's next-generation flagship will go to the assembly lines next year, offering customers a redesigned exterior, improved efficiency and the most driver-oriented cab that the company has ever made. Claimed to boast almost 6% better fuel economy than its predecessor, the 57X offers three Detroit engine models – DD13 Gen 5, DD15 Gen 5 and DD16, with a horsepower ranging from 370 to 600. The diesels are upgraded with the new cylinder heads and engine management systems. Nearly a half of the fuel consumption boost comes from the truck's aerodynamic improvements to the cabin chassis. It gets a redesigned hood and bumper with air ducts, new chassis side fairings with flexible skirts, optimized drive wheel fairing and an extended roof spoiler. The 57X is available with four cab configurations and a vast options list. Plus, you can count on the standard new generation 12-inch digital configurable instrument cluster and a 10-inch auxiliary display with the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Sirius XM connectivity. Peterbilt 579 EV being exclusively available in a day cap configuration, the largest model of the Peterbilt's EV range claims regional delivery and trade capabilities. Nearly indistinguishable from its IC siblings, the 579 EV has completely different underpinnings with a tandem axle electric motors, front controls, and a centrally mounted battery array. The latter measures 400 kWh in capacity, recharges in 3 hours, and promises 150 miles of hauling. The battery features thermally controlled lithium-ion phosphate cells, designed to prioritize longevity over range. Peterbilt says that it has a lifespan of 4,000 recharging cycles, effectively enabling 8 years of worry-free operation and decreasing maintenance costs by 40% compared to the IC579. The system peaks at 670 horsepower and it offers three stages of regenerative braking. The cabin of the electric Peterbilt is similar to their diesel trucks, so you get a premium level interior, lots of analog gauges and understandable buttons.
International Trucks S13 with an integrated powertrain. Developed from a clean sheet, the Navistar's new S13 Integrated will be the most efficient, most durable, and the lightest powertrain the company has ever produced. But unfortunately, it will also be their last internal combustion engine. Navistar confirms that the S13 will offer 7 power outputs, with the most potent one delivering 513 horsepower and 1,850 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 rpm. Compared to the previous A26 engine, the S13 Integrated is 52 pounds lighter and it provides a 15% fuel economy improvement. The biggest role on the fuel efficiency front is played by the all-new 14-speed automated manual transmission that features integrated oil-to-water coolant system and an electronic clutch actuator for smooth shifting. Another pivotal feature is the reimagined dual-stage one-box exhaust after treatment system which allows to remove the EGR cooler. The S13 integrated powertrain will first debut on the international LT truck, which in 2023 will also get noticeable aerodynamic revisions to complement the efficient engine. There is a new grille and bumper designs, revised lower skirts, and a new roof extender. Nikola Tre After a change of management, the Arizona startup has managed to restructure itself and, in March 2022, moved down to the series production of their first battery electric truck. The Tre has a reimagined cab over for the short haul and metro regional applications. It was built upon a proven Evaco S Way platform with a compact wheelbase of 186 inches. The ginormous 753 kWh battery continuously juices the 6x2 drive with 645 horsepower. The gross combined vehicle weight rating of the Nikola Tra is 82,000 pounds or 37 tons. The range should reach 350 miles, while the maximum recharge rate of 240 kW should ensure 10 to 80% battery replenishment in 2 hours. Deliveries of the Tra have already begun and the first companies to receive them are California's Quincat, Arizona's Alta Equipment Group, and Colorado's Wagner Equipment. Support the hard work of truck drivers by smashing the like button. Thanks for the feedback, and let's proceed! Canworth T680E Just like Peterbilt, Canworth belongs to the Picard umbrella of brands, so their new all-electric Class A trucks share the same underpinnings and technology. Rated for £82,000, the T680E relies on a new Blue Horizon 14XE tandem electric powertrain from Meritor. It integrates motors and axles into a single unit, produces 536 horses of continuous output, and features high-low voltage electronics. The setup is fed by a 396 kWh battery pack with 150 miles. Using the industry standard CCS1 port, it can be recharged in 3.3 hours at a rate reaching 120 kW. This model also gets access to the Picard's charging solutions. The new truck has streamlined exterior styling, LED lights, and blue body accents. At least for now, it is only offered as a day cab 4x6 axle configuration. Volvo VNL iTorque In the semi-trucks industry, Volvo is well known for pioneering a variety of technical solutions that make driving more comfortable, efficient, and effortless. Now the company is debuting the new iTorque technology on the VNL truck and its D13 turbo compound engine. It achieves higher torque and horsepower at lower RPM, while also allowing to improve the drivetrain's fuel economy by 16%. This means 8.5 mpg at speeds between 55 and 85 mph and a 31% increase in the fuel efficient speed range. This model pairs the D13TC engine with an intelligent 13-speed iShift gearbox with an adaptive gearshift strategy and an overdrive function. The transmission is assisted by the new generation Valvo IC Cruise Control that relies on the GPS positioning and on the map-based road topography. 
This allows the system to determine the hill ahead, downshifting the gearbox and maintaining the lower gear during the entire climb. If you're rolling downhill, it contributes to a more controlled descent and avoids unnecessary braking. Freightliner e Cascadia. After 1 million miles of testing, America's best selling heavy duty Class A truck embraces an electric powertrain. Daimler's internal e mobility team, in cooperation with the Detroit Diesel Corporation, has developed the e powertrain, which is a single or tandem electric axle unit. The former generates 320 horsepower and 11,500 pound feet of torque at the wheel while the latter raises the bar to 470 HP and 23,000 pound-feet. The underfloor battery has 195 through 438 kWh capacity. The largest pack carries enough juice to cover 230 miles with up to 82,000 of cross-combination weight. When compared to the internal combustion Cascadia, this truck has improved aerodynamics, introduces a solid package of active safety and is available with a 117-inch day cab. Freightliner also partnered with the Daimler's Detroit Technology subsidiary, who will provide continuous Connect Electric consulting services and will be responsible for creating a web of e-fill charging stations across the US. Scania Electric This is the first battery power truck oriented at regional transportation by the Swedish giant Scania. The new generation model is available in the R or S sleeper caps and as a 4x2 tractor or as a 6x2 or 6x4 rigid. The entire range is equipped with a standard 624 kWh battery pack regardless of the wheel configuration. In the electric truck segment, the estimated range is subject to numerous factors. But in normal driving conditions, the Scania Electric can achieve over 210 miles of range at 40 tons load and over 150 miles at the 64 tons. Key improvement here is that all Scania trucks are fitted with a standard 375 kilowatt charging capability. This means that with a proper plug, the battery will go fully charged in less than 90 minutes. But more details about the Scania Electric are expected to be revealed closer to the start of the production which is to begin in the fourth quarter of 2023. Volvo VNR Electric In production since mid-2021, the VNR Electric truck reaches a new milestone that will allow it to overtake most of the industry's competitors. This model now offers two new longer-range specifications, featuring four or six battery packs with a total capacity of 375 or 565 kWh. The setup provides up to 275 miles of driving. While charging at 250 kW, you can fully restore in 90 minutes. The drivetrain system is paired with a two-speed I-shift gearbox and it still returns 455 horses and 4,051 pound-feet. This is enough to perform hauling duties and develop a top speed of 68 miles per hour. In total, five configurations are on offer, with a straight or tractor chassis and 4x2, 6x2 and 6x4 axles. The VNR is fitted with various Volvo Active Driver Assist, Plus, each version is equipped with a smart, best-in-class real-time diagnostic system. Finally, each buyer can count on up to 6 years of 24-7 roadside assistance. New Generation DEF a subsidiary to Picard Inc., the Dutch DEF trucks is fully overhauling their entire lineup to exploit new EU regulations on masses and dimensions and to maximize efficiency. The 2022 roster will be represented by three models – XF as the long-distance and international travel solution, XG as a new top market offering, and XG Plus as DEF's new flagship. 
The new cap design ensures unprecedented fuel efficiency improvement of 10%. Rear view mirrors were replaced with cameras. Plus, both head and skylights are now full LED. The upcoming DEF trucks will be powered by the next generation of Pekar MX-11 and MX-13 engines. These 10.8 and 12.9 liters have a new engine block with increased yield of up to 530 horsepower and 1,991 pound-feet. The driver's quarters have a large digital dashboard, 33% larger windscreen and a comfy dual bed with a relaxed position. How do you feel about the takeover of electric semis in 2022? Would you like to see more EV trucks or would you rather stick to clean and efficient diesels? Let's discuss in the comments below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and smash the like button to support the hard work of truck drivers. More informative content is on the screen. Like, share and stand with Ukraine. May the torque be with you!